Hello and welcome everyone to another episode. Yes, so uh yeah, good stuff. The last part of our mega ship is being sent up. Now after this, um refueling will ensue. Tons and tons and tons and tons of refueling. Uh, I have no idea, but I am unbelievably happy right now. Um, I did not test this module fully, so I don't know if we're going to completely, you know, I might end up having to shoot this episode again. Uh, yeah, I worked out a few of the bugs that were going on with this thing, and I think we got a winner. I, I think. I think. That, that's all I'm going to say. But man, our mega ship is looking amazing right now, isn't it? Uh, I just can't believe on how, I, I can't believe it's actually come together this well. Um, you know, there was a part of me that, like, after creating it in the VAB, I was like, you know, I could just turn off gravity and then just fly this thing into orbit and say I just did it all as a surprise to you guys, but that's just a joke. I couldn't do that. that this is not right. Uh, you know, I, I felt like I should record all of this as far as the construction and getting these pieces to space and just it's just amazing stuff guys it's just amazing so this piece uh, I'm gonna do a little bit you know of a different takeoff than I normally do and uh, you know I'll just I'll talk a little bit more about what we got going on down there in a little bit so let's see what we get here um, you know this thing is really heavy on uh, the last stage I basically didn't take any of the fuel out of the last stage you know the the main part that's going into space that's going to be our um uh, it's going to be our engines for the ship i i just decided at the last minute that it really wouldn't make any sense to take any of the fuel out i mean we could i could have but i just changed my mind at the last minute and uh, i've decided to go with this only because I got a better idea, which requires less fuel and, uh, you know, overall less weight. So it hopefully will work. Basically, I am going to, once we decouple this, ooh, this wobbly piece here, uh, this main stage here is the engines on it are going to be used to propel it all the way for the rest of the mission as far as getting to uh, the you know the the construction site uh, the, getting to the ship itself now you'll see there's a lot of struts in here most of those are completely pointless struts they do not really need to be there but they're there just because um, I, I needed to hold the, the ship together so that that's you know I, I forgot who said it or whatever but it's basically you know the phrase when in doubt more struts yeah that that's pretty much the uh, synopsis of that entire thing so it, it's, it's it's looking pretty good it's it's looking pretty good I, I'm just a little bit concerned with the engine it, just a little bit I, I feel like we might end up having a few problems so I'm just gonna start nosing up so we can kind of put our give ourselves a little bit more of a buffer as far as when we reach our AP that way we don't start plummeting back to the ground let's see what we got for fuel all right we're looking pretty good I, I'm gonna have to decouple that piece like instantly and start our main engines as soon as possible So, I, I believe everything is set up correctly. I had a slight mishap. So, um, you know, I... There we go. Now you can hear the roar of these engines for the first time. I also forgot to hotkey a lot of my engines and stuff like that as far as, uh, you know, making sure that they're all set up perfectly because I don't want I want to be able to have some control over the engines and the the thrust and everything else and without any of the controls problems might happen so it looks like we're gonna be fairly alright here I don't know it just keeps decreasing slowly very slowly 
I mean, we're gaining speed, but this is this isn't looking very good. It looks like it's slowing down now. I mean, it, you can tell that it's taking a long time for it to get past five and four. So it's still coming towards us. So it's it should start stopping here eventually. And we're going to have to f do a lot of work to fix up our uh, our orbit a little bit. It looks like we're off by a lot. So, eh, what can you do? Yeah, why didn't I have the... Um, I, wow, I just noticed this. My engines weren't even at it full uh, full capacity here. So, I'm, I'm, I was basically just worried about nothing. And man, these engines use a lot of fuel now that you have a bunch of them together. 12 engines, I did not know use that much fuel. 12 nuclear engines, so. But we shouldn't be bleeding through too much fuel. As, I mean, you know what, if we use more than what I brought, then, you know, as long as we achieve orbit with this, I'm pretty much okay. We got... We got docking ports on here on the side just in case I put those on there. Uh, not only as just a design portion of the ship, but I also wanted just to be sure that, you know, it, it, if we launch something like this, that we're going to actually be able to achieve orbit. So, all right, there we go. This is looking good. It's going to stop here in a second, gain more speed. It shouldn't. I mean, it might end up dropping below one, but I think we'll be okay. Come on, come on. Yeah, no, it's not even going to drop below one. That's awesome. But, yeah, so... I will see you guys in a second... And we reached orbit, finally, my god. Now we did use a good portion of fuel, I was thinking about transferring some out. Um, we can get rid of basically a whole another stage of this ship, because we really don't need it. Um, actually, no, we can't even get rid of that, that sucks. Well, we, we can transfer the fuel out, that will decrease the weights as far as um, being able to it, it will burn this fuel first, put it that way. Now, I hope this doesn't throw off the symmetry of it at all. Um, it probably will by a little bit, but as long as I can balance it out a little bit, it'll, I think it will be all right. So, let's see. Uh, yeah, that one's full and that one's full. I should really transfer it over to this one. That way, cross-sectional, it will stay, you know, through the cross-section, it will actually stay the symmetry will stay and then with this one and this one I can just transfer out until they kind of equal the same amount roughly yeah that works now just do it with this one now this is one of the things that I kind of learned how to do um, that kind of help out a little bit so I mean this is something I suggest you guys do um, you know, if you're trying to keep some symmetry involved with your rocket and you're trying to do fuel transfers and you don't have a means of actually transferring the fuel accurately. So that that's kind of what I do. I don't know why, but it keeps on dropping my targets. So set this as a target there. I don't know what's going on with that. That's driving me a little crazy. <clears throat> so let's see. There we go. Um, if I were to do a burn here, how much am I going to have to fuel-wise? There, there we go. It's looking pretty good. I am okay with this. Yeah, I can't decouple the back piece there because it has the command module on it and all that stuff. So if I decouple that, I lose the command module. I lose the entire part. So that's why I can't do that. 
wow, this thing really sucks down the electrical charge, too, trying to move. Thank God I, I, I put a, the, whatchamacallits, the thermic generator on here. I put that on as a last minute thing. I was like, well, you know, in case if I lose power in orbit, this will, you know, help out a little bit. Wow, the graphic frame rate just really does drop down when I'm looking at Kerbin. I just annoying. So there we go. Now we're lined up perfectly, and my stomach is rumbling. I haven't eaten any breakfast today. I definitely need to get on that breakfast thing. Ah, uh, don't know what I'm going to eat, but something sounds something good, something tasty. I was thinking about running down to like McDonald's or something, just scarfing something down real quick. So, alright, we're looking pretty good. Um, it looks like we got a 30 second burn, a whole 30 seconds. So, not that bad. I'm not too concerned, other than running out of fuel. That's pretty much all I'm concerned about. Now I'm gonna go after, I mean, I did a little bit of a burn here. I, I, I'm just gonna do this here and then finish the burn. That way I can actually watch the intersect point move because I, I prefer that even if I'm doing the burn inaccurately, even if I'm using a little bit more fuel, I like being able to watch that because not being able to see it and then setting up the burn to me is not a good way of doing it because chances are you're gonna miss What's that intersect at? What should we got here? Uh, it looks like 3.1, 2.9, 3.0. That's as good as it's going to get. Once we get on the outside here, though, I'm going to quick save right before we actually reach the ship, just in case something bad happens. I, I You know what? I'd rather be safe about this and... Uh, basically have some kind of a set point where um, just in case if the Kraken come or something happens uh, some crazy stuff this game is notorious for it so at least we'll have something to save our ship and we need to flip around and burn off this excess speed which isn't going to be much of a problem I'm not too concerned there we go flip this over and the amount of power that the ship has is just amazing. All well, these engines, just amazing stuff. It's going to be off by 0.8. I think if I push that a little bit further. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Zero, zero. So let's see. what, How close? What, what time? What's the time here? For 30 seconds. I think we'll be able to burn off some of that here once we start our burn up. And I'm going to start the burn at like 25 seconds or so. I think that should be good. Otherwise, we're just going to smash right into the thing. Hopefully not. That would not be nice. After all this construction and all the f uh, these videos I made you guys sit through. Bring it down to 50. I think we'll be good at 50. Wow. Yeah, so this thing just got loaded into, and it's, uh, you can already see it from here. It's just a big block of junk. Let's see. Uh, is it still at zero, zero? Yes, it is. Let's bring it down a little bit more to zero. Wow. You can already see it from here. It's just a big floating blue orange tank it's amazing I can't believe how much fuel the all these engines use just by uh, having it set to the, basically the lowest amount of setting of thrust you can have I, I would laugh if this whole thing just exploded right now I think I would even leave it in the video too, and then just show me redoing it as well. So just, no, whoa, 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 whoa! Okay, we we burned off a lot of that speed. 
I'll just uh, get rid of this here. There we go. So we need to go on the opposite side of the ship. I wish there was an easier way instead of having to flip this thing all around and everything else. So I think I'm just going to do this here. Um, we'll set up a little bit of a burn here. Just kind of heading towards the back of the ship. Because we're on the front side right now. And then just speed up time. And I did deploy all the solar panels. That was last episode. I didn't, or well, that was uh, at the end of the last episode. So that was the reason why you guys just didn't see that. So, all right, spin this round, do the burn, babe, dude. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. Looking perfect. So I think we gotta flip it over on the side here. On, I thought it was on the 90. Um, I, apparently not. Doesn't seem like it. I think it's on like 278. Well, no, I think 278 leads to 90. Yeah, yeah, I'm just an idiot. Or I don't know what that. I don't know if that says 278, but it, that's all I can read with this monitor. So, eh, I, I don't have that great a vision. So I think this is pretty well lined up as it is right here like that. All right, now we just need to go up and over. So turn that RCS on and we'll go up and over, at least try. Start going forward too. There we go. Perfect. Everything's just coming together so freaking nicely. I'm just impressed with myself that this thing is coming together so nicely. I expected something stupid or bad to happen. So every single episode, nothing stupid or bad has really happened. It's just, uh, I, I can't believe it. So there we go. Looking good, looking good. Just bring this back over so we're not going to overshoot or undershoot. And we also need to burn down because we're starting to line up pretty good with this thing and it would just head forward that's all we really need to do so just burn that way there we go there 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 perfect 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 yeah now my frame rate is really low right now so i apologize right now in advance uh basically i have no control over it because of the fact that we're facing kerbin if we weren't facing kerbin then we i think my frame rate would be a little bit better than what it is right now, but um, yeah, the last episode what I was going to show you guys too, and I forgot was the weight of the ship so we will be looking at the weight as soon as this last little module is parked in there ever so nicely it's a little bit off, by a little, it's a little crooked, but I think we're going to be alright it isn't that bad it's negligible. Negligible. Alright, come on. Come on. Come on. Getting close. Slow down. There we go. Slow down some more. There we go. Come on. Come on. Get that pole. Get the, the pole. Turn off the SAS. RCS off. Boom. Wow. <laughs> oh my god what's going on it's not happy turn that off there we go turn it back on is it going to still move is it still moving what's, what's going on with it I, I think everything's alright I think it's just uh, coming to terms with the fact that it's just grown even bigger yeah yeah it's good Wow, that that is so awesome. What are we looking at on uh I'm having problems even controlling this thing, so I think my keyboard may have just died. I don't know. 
Oh, no, no, no. It's still good. It's it's all good. It's all good. Now, I'm going to transfer the fuel out real quick. All right. No, no. That, that is empty. So, I can get rid of that now. So, see you later. Let's see. Um... Do this. It's gonna activate those engines. The engines are off, so it's not like that big of a deal. And this got bumped up here, so we just gotta move this down. Yeah, see? Lots of paying attention to things. Okay, something just happened. Alright. See you later. Don't need you anymore. Actually, what I could do, I think this thing will, yeah, it's completely full on power. Let's turn on the RCS, and we'll just back it away ever so nicely here. See you later. We don't need any of that stuff. And uh, now we'll start covering the craft. There really wasn't any fuel left on there, so what's what's the big deal anyways? Let's see. You know, how come one of these is like really intensely low on fuel compared to the others? I, I don't understand that. Um... I, 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 whatever. So, we'll speed it up. We'll get back on the light side so I can explain to you all that went into this beautiful craft. And along with, we can check the weight, even though the weight on it right now really isn't the legitimate weight because it doesn't even have, I, I think it has maybe a little over a third of the amount of fuel that it should have. So, it's going to be a little bit more heavy. So, the craft itself right now is at 314 tons. And, you know, you're talking, you know, most of this stage here is empty except for the center. You know, most of these orange tanks are all empty except for two of them. So, I'm going to start my refueling missions here shortly. And, uh, you know, I'm going to take one of these tanks here, yeah. And uh, I'm just going to start refueling the engines. I like refueling all the smaller parts of the ship before I really focus on the main parts of you know the ship that really need the fuel compared to others now the cross feed on this does work um at least in my testing that i did it, the cross feed did kind of work but there were some problems like it would take from certain areas but not all of them so it, you know it would take from all of the center tanks and all that other stuff but it wouldn't take from uh, the the orange tanks. That's the only ones it wouldn't take from. So I, I don't know what's going on with it. But my frame rate is okay, sort of. We got, um, if there was no Kerbin around right now, my frame rate would be 10, so. This thing is really having some problems moving around too. I don't know what's going on. I didn't check these connections either. I think I should have checked those. It was kind of stupid of me not to check them. So we might end up having to send, send another mission to fix this if I screwed something up here. All right, they're all docked up, it looks like. I don't know if I did or didn't check them, but whatever. All right, yeah, so we need to turn. Some kind of unknown force acting upon my ship. But yeah, you guys can see from here, I mean, some of these solar panels are lit up, some of them aren't. But we're getting some power draw. Um, just crazy stuff, I don't know what's going on right now. Is it going to let me move? Or is it just going to be all stupid like that so I'm gonna quick save now that we're docked up and I'm gonna try out the RCS because we're gonna be launching refuel missions so I can refuel the RCS tanks I don't know what's going on with this it just seems like uh, there's something wrong here something's amiss it's not turning at all doesn't like the idea of this whole turning thing. I Maybe it's because the SAS modules are fighting each other or something. I don't know. But, yeah, so here's our one of the things I'm going to probably be covering as uh, probably after launch. 
uh, once we start getting this thing further out into space, and I really have some plans, but basically we have an interplanetary drive of 21 ion engines. I said there was going to be a couple. Yeah, you know, there's a couple. And this is really just a test. I don't really have a lot of faith in it, but at the same time, this is 10.5 newtons of thrust, so it's basically one-fifth of what one of these engines produce. And it's basically all free, uh, you know, free delta V in a way, you know, so it eh, might work, might not. But right now, I'm going to have to work on why this thing isn't turning. So, anyways, guys, thank you for watching. If you like what you see here, subscribe. There's always more to come. And, uh, yeah, I will see you next time.